Hello, everybody. Welcome to my women's basketball rantings. This is where I give my thoughts about the happenings in the women's game. If you like this type of content, kindly like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. I put video tags down in case you just want to jump into a particular section. If you are still listening, welcome. If you are not, welcome. Let's get started. The year is coming to an end and um, what better time to wrap up the WNBA and just give my thoughts on the overall season in general. So today I'm going to be talking about my five favorite moments in the WNBA 2021-25th anniversary season. These moments are not ranked, they're just my favorites. They might not be yours, but they are mine and uh, I- I'll just get into it. So the first is the release of the jerseys. Those that was such a great moment because uh, even though we were kind of expecting it, I think Subred has already given it some teasers. It was so well done. Uh, most people don't really expect the BNBA to do anything good. Let me not lie. They are very wonky in the way they just approach things. But I think for this jersey, they really, really did it right. And this was kind of like a a way to show that they were committed to the game, they were committed to the fans, and they were committed to what we wanted. They wanted to move the game forward and they just did everything so well. The fact that they brought players input into the jerseys was really good. The jerseys were well done. The marketing was on point. The way they rolled it out was really, really good. It just got a lot of people talking, got a lot of people buzzing. And uh, even the jerseys itself, when, when when people got them, it was just like something to have. Like, I'm sure this Christmas, a lot of people will be like, I want the WNJ, NBA jersey for Christmas. If you are listening, I do want the WNBA jersey for Christmas. Too bad, it's really hard to get them where I am. But it just won't make the WNBA something that you really wanted to aspire to and you we wanted to to belong to that um, small community so that was a really good moment i like the seattle storm black although like everybody knows i have a storm bias but i did like their black then i also like the indiana fever stranger things jersey then my jersey that i grew on me i didn't like it at first was the chicago sky um rebel the the black ones i really really like them in fact they've come to become my favorite jerseys i really like the black the jerseys the more you see them the more you just fall in love with them they're just so well made like the las vegas ones with the ads on on it it's just well made well thought out and it was just a great 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 moment and you could see that it's pivoted the WNBA into something that was not on the fringe but definitely part of the culture the next moment will be the olympics uh everything about it was just nice so i'm going to put the olympics i'm going to put the all-star together because they kind of happened at the same time the idea for team the bnba and team usa was fantastic i loved it i did a video about it you could check uh the link above uh so it was just like this kind of rivalry there was so much balls like the nike nika ogumike snob candice Parker is always snobbed they always say she's snobbed even though she's not a member of team usa anymore <laughs> So that was there. Then they go, oh, we should have made the roster. We shouldn't have made the roster. Then even the roster itself. Then of course there was the John Carl Jones MVP, Candice Parker, Team USA. Was Team USA going to beat Team WNBA? We found out Team WNBA came out on top, which was just all part of the conversation. Then the Olympics itself. I am a huge, huge, huge fan of the Olympics. I watch all the games. Then, of course, I'm definitely going to watch basketball. I loved it. And, of course, they came out on top. Subed and Diana Taurasi, five gold medals. There were so many really good stories. You could tell that these players worked all their lives to get to this point. And for them to carry the legacy for the U.S. was really good. The games, sometimes they were rough, sometimes they were good. But it was just a really good time. It really showcased uh, the best of women's basketball. And um, of course, the dancing in the locker room when they won the gold medal, definitely top 10 TikTok moments of the year. If it's not there, then what are you doing? It was just so 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 spontaneous, great. And thank Adria Wilson for filming it and uploading it for our enjoyment. Alongside the Olympics, I'm just going to add the Commissioner's Cup too, because everything kind of happened at the same time. So I would add the Commissioner's Cup to the Olympics. So I love the Commissioner's Cup. And of course, it wasn't, it could be better, but I loved it. The fact that Seattle won, just uh, even though they were very, very, they were very, very tired team, it just showed what uh, Seattle and Brianna Stewart and uh, Subed could do if they really, really put their mind to it. So I'm so glad they won again.
against Connecticut, who was like, they were saying, oh, they were going to win because they had all the rest and at the end of the day, it wasn't even close. So everything was, uh, during that period, it was just a really, really fun time for engagement. Finding out that Stu had a baby um, through a surrogate with our wife, Martha, and they were, like, they were even married. I love gossip. I love women's gossip. So it was just a good time. I was, it wasn't something I was expecting. Uh, um, it showed that uh, you could, there are so many ways to, to be a family. You don't have to choose the one part that everybody says you should. You can follow your own part and still come out on top. You can have, you can have a career and still um, have your personal life going the way you want it to be. So that was also a very, very good time. But I'll just lump all that with um, the Olympics. The third moment that I really loved this year was one more year. I love to bird. I'm biased. So obviously she's going to be there. Uh, so that game was really rough. I, I knew going into that game that it was going to be a tough win for Seattle because Brian Austin wasn't there. And Drew Lloyd and Subert, I think the Olympics took everything it, they, it had from them and they just couldn't they just weren't the people they were before the olympics which i, I it's okay i understand I, I i'm not in their shoes these are athletes they put their body on the line so i have no idea what they were going through um so uh so that game was rough and it was potentially we don't know yet could have been could be the last game for super and getting people just chant one more year and just the realization that uh she was probably never going to play again. It really, really struck me hard. I wish I got into basketball like 10 years ago or maybe even 20 years ago so that I could have seen her play a lot longer than I did. But so that was really, really hurt me. Like that could be the last moment she ever played in the W. And then of course, DT and uh, sharing their jerseys and everybody was crying. It was just an emotional moment, not for just for me, but for everybody else uh, in the world, basically, that loves Super. And we really, really hope we see her one more year. So that way we can really, really pay our dues. The fourth moment will be Chicago Sky winning the championship. It was unique because uh number one they won the championship which is always a good time but it was so unexpected like if coming into the year chicago sky wasn't even uh on the radar at all it was more like las vegas seattle minnesota washington and um they just stunned the whole world basically and when and candice Parker coming into chicago um with all the oh can she do what they said she would do and uh the fact that she did was just crazy like you gotta you got believe these women like when they say they would do something they will do something these are athletes these are people that have won at different levels they know what they can do they know who they are so i coming into chicago and saying she was going to win them a championship and eventually winning it, them that championship and the way she won it being the sixth seed, this whole season it was really up and down for her, and everything just came together at the right time. And it was just a great moment. It was their first championship. He had never won a championship in Chicago. Uh, Courtney Vandersloot certainly deserved the championship after a stellar play in the WNBA for over 11 seasons. <laughs> so, Candice Parker definitely deserved another championship to add to her good status so it was just a really great moment and it was just good a, a good moment for WNBA also meaning that even Indiana Fever could actually have aspirations to win a championship because most times they always say oh it's the team that is the most loaded it's really not this team this year showed that anybody could win even Phoenix were a breath away from winning the championship and they were the fifth seed and they didn't even play that great all season uh but it just showed that anybody could win at any time. And that just gave a little bit of life to WNBA. It, was, it, it wasn't boring. It was interesting. So going into this next season, you could tell, you could see that even teams like, okay, if Chicago can do it, we can. So the fifth and final one would also involve Candice Parker. And this just happened recently. It was Candice Parker coming out. That was crazy. I did not expect that. Uh, I kind of had ideas that she was married, uh, but... I didn't expect her to just share it with the world. And the way she shared it was so like normal, like, oh, I'm, I'm married, everybody. Um, yeah, I'm married. 
whatever. <laughs> like that's the way she shared it. And it was just fun to see the banter. I am very happy for her. I love family. I love everything about it. Um, I uh, I'm glad she finally decided that this was the best time to do it. And it was just a good moment to show that she has come such a long way and she felt comfortable at this time to do it whereas she never felt comfortable about it before so just showed more progress in WNBA and hey it's gossip it's good great gossip finally all the speculators were proven right or proven wrong however you want to see it so it was just a good time um overall so those were my five five favorite moments of the year what are yours please put that in the comment section. That's it for this video. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below and uh, see you next week.